Hi guys, Stevie here, or as you might know me, Counter Magic on Reddit. This is my Diamond City Hotel build. I'm here on a new save just to show you where the build is and what it used to look like. You can see Piper's trying to get into Diamond City there. So we head down here. And this is the way I think generally most people come to Diamond City. So everyone will have passed this building before. Here we are, this is the build that I've, that I've used for the hotel. Stretches from here right down to kind of there. And we'll head inside and I'll show you what it used to look like. So as you can see here, completely ruined. I think this used to be, and maybe it was some kind of ticketing area or or something like that for the stadium. Head up here, I'm going to use a jetpack so it's a bit loud. Okay. So you can see this upper floor is completely ruined. The floor, the roof, the wall, totally gone. Head back down. garbage everywhere. There's a couple of wet patches here that unfortunately I couldn't get rid of in the build. So you'll just have to bear with me on that and ignore them if you can. And through here we've got another wet patch which again I couldn't get rid of. And then there's dirt patches if you can see them on the ground here. And there's another one over here as well. So even once the trash and stuff is scrapped Whatever is placed there will have dirt on it for some reason. So I've tried to get around that in the build, but some things you just can't get rid of, especially on the PlayStation 4. This little kitchen here is obviously ruined here, but I liked the, the way it was set up enough to just keep this as my kitchen in the actual build. And again, everyone's been here, I think. This is the area where you'll find Diamond City security fighting the super mutants up there. First time you come. And that's it for the before. I'll be back with the after. See ya. Hey guys, here we are. Hope you're all good. This is the Diamond City Hotel build that I've been working on for the last month or so. Let's head on in. The front sign's made out of a bunch of different things. Uh, you can probably spot the Combat Zone sign, the Diamond City Surplus sign obviously. The Rexford Hotel, I've kind of got that in just enough to see the neon through but not anything else. Then I've got the Walden Pond gift shop sign and the Haymarket Mall sign for the entranceway. Head on in. Start off with the reception. Quite proud of the reception desk. It's custom. A lot of mid-century tables and some of the mid-century floor pieces. So there's how many? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven tables, plus I think two of the four pieces to make that up. You can see here we've got five hotel rooms plus the high roller suite. And next to that is the little intercom for all the hotel rooms to talk directly to the reception if they need to. Each of the hotel rooms has an intercom in it as well, which we'll see as we go. We've got the restaurant and the gift shop here. Start off with the gift shop. It's got a few little Bertie birds hanging in a display case. Quite 
quite a simple little gift shop, not a lot to say about it really. Head into the restaurant. And if you remember the before video, we had that bit of water there, which I couldn't do anything about unfortunately, plus there was two dirty spots where the two planters are now. I couldn't get rid of them, so I've put planters there to try and kind of alleviate it. So here, where I would imagine people say they've got an appointment or have a reservation, and then they'll get shown to their table. Through here, we've got the kitchen where prepared meals can be passed through, and here we've just got some cutlery and plates, and a couple of barrels of who knows what. Couldn't do anything about the water unfortunately. Got a couple of bathrooms. And then this bit I'm quite proud of, it's a little kids area. Somewhere you can pap your kids when you're having something to eat. Head on into the kitchen. The kitchen is very simple, honestly. It's just a lot of basically pre made stuff put together. I just wanted the idea of a nice stocked kitchen. That's us. Next we'll have a look at the casino. And I'll just do a quick sweep of the place and then we'll go and look at each part individually. Okay. Start off with the poker table which is an upside down overseer's desk. I like that because it has the kind of cut out bit on the far side where the dealer can sit using the silver shroud calling cards as playing cards. Got some blast radius there as well. I'm not sure how you play blast radius but they can play it for money if they choose. Got the galactic zone slots with the little lights in the backlit poster. And then on the other side got dry rock gulch slots with the same lights. Little Nuka Cola machine. And here's just a little kind of sitting area for anyone who's got a drink at the casino but doesn't want to stand at the bar. fountain here with the water and some lights in it. That should be closed. We'll close that for now and come back to it. Here's the cashier's cage where people can store the valuables if they're staying in the hotel and you know if they have money that they want to change into chips or something, they can do that here. We'll save the bar till last, I think. We'll go into the other two tables first. We've got a roulette table. Not entirely sure how they would go about playing roulette with a bunch of chess boards, but it was mainly the wheel that I wanted to make and put in here. So I think the wheel's made out of a 
trash can, a tire, a basket, a sort of waste paper basket, a barrel, and one of the pipe things from Custom Vanilla Assets. That's okay. And then we've got just another card table here. Same kind of idea as the last thing. So here's the bar, which again is a lot of the mid-century flooring that's been tilted. You can see it on the bar and also behind there. how this ended out. Got little consoles inside there, a bit of shelving. And a ladder, just in case they need to get some drinks off the top shelf or something. The fire pit was inspired by Coops' speakeasy builds. I've got a junk mortar, which I think makes a nice little kind of cast iron fire pit. And I've stuck the GNN statue on top, sunk it into the ground so that only the globe part's shown. And then stuck some fire in there. I think it looks quite good. That's it for the casino. We'll come back and do the VIP suite last, I think. We'll do all the other hotel rooms first. Okay, so let's go into the hotel rooms now. There's five rooms plus the VIP suite, and each of the hotel rooms has a different theme. So let's go for the first room, which is the Red Rocket room. Here's the first intercom that you'll see, all of them look more or less like this, with a pitching machine and the percussive speaker. There's one of them in every room. Simple little, can't even call it a kitchen. A fire pit with the basketball stand. Some essentials. Head down in here. This is the only room that I've done proper kind of power and wiring for because it took far too long. But we'll turn the switch on here, turn the lights on. So the bit that I like most about this room is of course the big red rocket sign that goes across. But beyond that is actually the loading zone for Diamond City. If I was to jump over this and get in there, we'd go right into Diamond City. So no going in there. Little bed here with the basketball hoop again. Make it a nice little headboard. And a really cool car bed. And again, this switch, I've made it so that it only turns this one on, it doesn't turn the other ones on. Bit of shelving. And just a simple little bathroom. Not much to say really about that. That's pretty much it for the Red Rocket Room. Other side. Okay, room number two I've already shared on the subreddit, so for anyone that's seen that, 
you know what's in store here. This is the topsy turvy room where everything's kind of tilted weird. So mind your eyes. Okay. So the effect I was going for here is that the far wall is supposed to look like the floor. And all the rest are supposed to look like walls as though we're looking down on the room from above. Worked out quite well. I haven't gone as complex as I possibly could. I wanted to keep it kind of simple. And also it takes a long time. So I've hidden two beds in this room. One's in here. Just a simple little bed with a safe. And again, that backlit poster light. I love that light. And then the other bed's just hidden under here. Not too much in terms of facilities as an actual hotel room, but it's more of just a concept really of getting the stuff tilted. Got one of the intercoms there as well. Okay, so there's two hotels on the ground floor. Two rooms on the ground floor, sorry, and three rooms upstairs. So we're going to do the upstairs rooms now. Room number three is the mechanist room, which I was quite apprehensive about doing, but I think it worked out quite well. You can see if you agree with me. This room has most of the custom stuff in it. Well, I should say it has the most custom stuff in it out of all the rooms. This one here is a Mr. Handy statue flipped upside down to use as a table. I like the little legs that come out there. A couple of mechanist posters. And this has to be the highlight of this room. It's a Robo Brain shelf with the light bulb sticking in its hands. I think that one turned out really well. A couple of demo consoles and the red lockers tilted on its side to make more of a wider shelf. And then I love this weapon, it's uh, from the Wacky Weapons mod, it's a uh, Mr. Handy Buzzblade, but with a Disciples Cutlass on it. I think it looks really cool as a, maybe like a spear or something that the Mechanist might use. And then of course we've got the Mechanist display case in the middle of the room. Got a little side table here, which is uh, two paint mixers. And the bed is made out of the red industrial frames that the mechanist layer has, plus the red power armor display for the light. And then again, we've got another. This is an iBot statue that's been flipped upside down to use as a table. Plus, I've put the uh, robot legs on it. I think those are Robo Brain arms, actually but using them as legs, plus the intercom again, another mechanist poster, and then the only other thing is this wall which is a bunch of the Nuka World arcade things with some posters inside, and that's it. The fourth room is a small kind of hunter shack or survival shack. Quite small, not much, not very difficult in technique or anything like that, but I've just tried to use the space as best as I can, cramming a lot of stuff in. You can see the intercom there on the far side as well. And just a small kitchen area. Nothing fancy. And 
the last room is the nuka cooler room. highlight this room for me is the bolsu caps in the ceiling, which is the large bolsus from the Nuka World bottling plant assets on USO, flipped upside down and then sunk into the ceiling. I think that turned out quite well. That's it for the hotel rooms, just got the VIP suite to go. Head back downstairs. And we'll run over to the VIP suite. So if you remember in the before section, this this floor was totally ruined. So all the floor and stuff had to be rebuilt from scratch, and all the walls and the roof are custom as well. The big flat screen here in the middle. Got a kitchen area here. a small kind of pantry area or food area. So there's two kind of bedrooms in the VIP suite over there and this one up here. So we'll check this one out first. They're both lined with the Institute sneeze guards which I think made for really cool fencing around this area. Put a sun, a sun lounger here because this eighth, this kind of section seems to get a lot of the sun. That's just a small kind of bedroom area and then we'll head through to a kind of a, a very large walk-in closet slash bathroom. again there. Check out the bathroom. A couple of bookcases here. And again just a simple kind of bathroom, not a lot technically difficult going on here. Just a nice simple bathroom. Now did you see it? Uh oh. What's behind here? Let's check it out. Got a secret safe room here for the railroad. I'm not sure who's using it, possibly Deacon with the disguises and the deliverer there. like this area. <laughs> and 
knew that was going to happen. So that's it for the first kind of bedroom area. I'll go and check out the other one. I like these benches here, they're the institute benches. Just put some plants in and a couple of additional lights. Got two of those. This is the second bedroom. And this one as well has a kind of a less of a walk-in closet because it's so small but it's got a little space for clothes there. Here. There's a little bathroom. And just a little white bench. I really wanted to do a better job on the lifts, but they're very hard to use. I don't think the game likes it when you put them inside, like out of bounds if you like. The game does not like that at all. So every time I would log on, or start up the game, and the lifts wouldn't work, the buttons would have disappeared and they were non-functional, so I had to build them quite a few times. You can see I've had to delete a lot of stuff near here to build this monstrosity. But there it is. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. See you later.